So demonstration explains the fact that a cylinder is homeomorphic to an annulus. And so here, this picture is showing a cylinder C, which is given by this formula here. It's a set of points x, y, z, and r3, such that x squared plus y squared equals 1, and minus 1 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 1. So of course the uh, condition x squared plus y squared equals 1, that says that we're at distance 1 from the z-axis. And then uh, minus 1 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 1, that's saying that we're kind of uh, you know, <clears throat> between height minus 1 and height plus 1. So yeah, this end of the cylinder here is at uh, z equals minus 1. This uh, end of the cylinder here is z equals plus 1. And uh, we're kind of always at a distance one from the z-axis. Uh, <clears throat> now, on the other hand, we're considering the annulus A, set of points x, y, and r squared, with uh, half less than or equal to root x squared plus y squared less than or equal to three halves. In other words, uh, so that's uh, that's this space here. It's all in the x, y plane, and we've got points. Uh, I mean, here's the origin. Uh, these are the points that are distance a half from the origin, distance one from the origin, distance three halves from the origin. So in between uh, the distance a half and distance three halves, that's our set A. And uh, the claim is that these, uh, um, these, these spaces are homeomorphic. And uh, well, this kind of picture makes it pretty clear that they are. You, know, you can just uh, take the... Uh, uh, cylinder and kind of flatten it out into the plane in the way that you see in the picture. Uh, <clears throat> if you want an actual formula, um, yeah, we can do it like this. So we've got a function f from c to r a, sending f of x, y, z is uh, 1 plus z over 2x, 1 plus z over 2y. So why does this work? I mean, here I, we could have alternatively have written this as it's the uh, number 1 plus z over 2 multiplied by the vector x, comma y. So the vector x, comma y is on the circle. And uh, the uh, 1 plus z over 2, well, you know, that's running as a z, of, z is minus 1 at the bottom of the cylinder. Uh, your 1 plus z over 2 is going to be equal to a half. And when your z is 1 at the top of the cylinder, is 1 plus z over 2 is equal to be 3 halves. So you've got the point x, y on the unit circle, and you're multiplying it by the scalar 1 plus z over 2, which is uh, running between a half and 3 halves. So, so that gives us this annulus here.